All right, power generator video number two, the tightening of the coil. This is where we really start to create some ridiculous power, and you'll see why. Remember last video, we learned about how your hips are really creating the power in your backhand, much like the bullwhip. Well, in this video, we're going to expand on that idea and take it up another level. Bear in mind, all of this power that you're creating can be used to hit big, powerful, drive backhands and can also be used to create heavy, dipping topspin shots or even penetrating slices that really keep your opponents off balance. And we'll talk more about that in a later video. For now, let's talk about the tightening of the coil. Now, have you ever looked at tennis players on the tour and notice how long and flexible they are? And then you watch these guys or gals hit, and it seems like they're just giant rubber bands. Notice that very few of them are big, muscle-bounded bodybuilder types. Now, if you're a bodybuilder, first of all, you got any tips? I need some help here. I'm lacking in that area. But you can still create effortless power on your strokes. The key is using elastic strength instead of contractile strength. And all that means is the stretching of your muscles is much more important than the brute force of them. In essence, think of your backhand as a rubber band. If you want the band to fly further or snap more, you just have to pull it back a little further or tighten its tension. Same thing as your backhand. The tighter your coil, the more powerful it will be. Great, Ramon. Perfect. How do I do that? Well, imagine you're playing tug-of-war with someone in front of you, and you want to win. What would you do? You're holding on to your racket, and you would just kind of sink down and back with your hips, kind of creating tension between you and the racket, right? Well, this tension is what's ultimately going to be released into the ball. Notice here how as you begin your stroke, your hands initially stay in front as your hips slowly rotate away from the court, creating the coil. Then, as your hips begin to rotate into the court, your hands lag behind and get pulled into the hip. This works for one or two hands, drive, topspin, or slice. And it's really the next level when it comes to creating effortless power. Just don't tell anyone, because they'll all be doing it. 